Okay, so this video is going to be about rewriting quadratics from standard form to vertex form. It's a process that kind of helps us graph a little bit better. We can get a lot of good information from it. And so we use completing the square to do that. So we have an equation y equals x squared minus 12x plus 18. Okay, what I want to do is I want to create a perfect square trinomial on the right side here. So I'm going to separate the x squared minus 12x from the 18. And whatever I, <clears throat> excuse me, whatever I add inside the parentheses, I'm going to subtract outside the parentheses. So I really only added zero on that side. Okay. So now I'm going to complete the square for the parentheses. Negative 12 divided by 2 squared is negative 6 squared, which equals 36. So we're going to add 36, and then we have to subtract 36. Okay, that way we're keeping that side balanced. We really only added 0 to that. So y equals, and then we're going to factor what's inside the parentheses, x minus 6 squared, and then 18 minus 36 is minus 18. Now, my equation's in vertex form. Let's identify the vertex. The vertex is 6, negative 18. So our first step was to separate the x squared and bx from the constant, complete the square on the x squared plus bx, now, if we have a coefficient in the x squared, we're going to have to factor that out. Okay, and then we're going to subtract outside the parentheses that number that we added on the inside of the parentheses. Then we factor the parentheses, and then it's in vertex form. So let's look at another example. Let's look at one with a coefficient. <clears throat> y equals um, x squared plus 8x plus 18. Apparently today I like the number 18. So this one doesn't have a coefficient, so we'll just do this, and then we'll do a coefficient next. So we're going to do x squared plus 8x. Keep the 18 on the outside of the parentheses. We're going to complete the square on the inside. 8 divided by 2 squared is 4 squared, which is 16. So we're going to add 16 inside, and we're going to subtract 16 outside. Okay, that keeps the equation balanced. And then we get y equals factor x squared plus 8x plus 16 to x plus 4 squared and 18 minus 6 is plus 2. So now our equation's in vertex form, and I identify our vertex as negative 4, comma, 2. So now let's look at one that does have a coefficient, negative 3x squared plus 6x minus 1. So again, first thing we're going to do is separate and the minus 1 there. I'm going to factor the 3 out of the parentheses. So negative 3, i got to leave the x there. So x squared plus uh, minus 2x, and then minus 1. Now, remember that because I'm multiplying by a negative 3, everything that I add inside the parentheses gets multiplied by that negative 3. So when I subtract that off, I'm going to have to... Um, multiply it by the 3. So let's complete the square. Negative 2 divided by 2 squared equals negative 1 squared, which is 1. So I'm going to add 1, and this 1 gets multiplied by a negative 3. So then I'm going to subtract 1 times the coefficient negative 3. Okay, so we have to multiply by the coefficient.
and so we get y equals negative 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. I'm sorry, I meant to factor that. No reason to keep that unfactored. So x squared minus 2x plus 1 is x minus 1 squared. And then negative 1 minus negative 3 becomes plus 3. So negative 3 times x minus 1 squared is plus 2 equals y. And my vertex is at positive 1, positive 2. Okay, so let's do another one with a coefficient. Okay, so here's another one with the coefficient. Separate out the 4x squared minus 12x from the 5. And now I can factor out a 4. So 4 times x squared minus 3x plus 5. Now we need to complete the square. And I purposely chose a fraction here. Not everything's going to be a whole number. So take the middle term, divide it by 2, and square it. That gives me 9 fourths. I'm going to add it here, and I need to subtract it. And it gets multiplied by that 4. So it ends up being 9 fourths times the coefficient 4. Okay, Because there's 4 of those parentheses there. And that ends up being not so bad. 9 fourths times 4 is 9. So this factors to 4 times x minus 3 halves squared. Remember that this term, when I take b divided by 2, helps us figure out how to factor it. That is x minus 3 halves. That's how it's going to factor, especially when I get fractions. And then 5 minus 9, because the 4s cancel and I get 9. So 5 minus 9 is minus 4. And your vertex is at 3 halves comma negative 4.